Good afternoon, my name is Rangel Alvarado. I will show you today how to start using your Freedom K64F using the Kinetics Design Studio with Processor Expert to create an application of blinking the RGB LED and trying to do some steps from debugging and then we will finish with flashing the MCU. The first thing that you must have to do is to go to www.freescale.com slash kds and download the Kinetic Design Studio corresponding to your operating system. On this example, I'm using the Pianim Micro OpenSDA firmware. If you want to learn more about the OpenSDA firmware, please visit my webpage. There are the links and the right firmware that you must have to download to your embed device or your Freedom K64F. Once installed, open the Kinetics Design Studio. Once it's started, navigate to File, New, Kinetics Design Studio to start our new Kinetics Design Studio project. Put any name to your project. In this example, I'm using the RGB LED on my workspace location in a folder named KDS Workspace in C. A window appears listing our boards divided on the Kinetics uh, boards or only the processors because I have a Freedom K64F I will select from the Kinetics submenu the Freedom K64F. When you choose next you must select between the Kinetics software development kit or not and even the processor expert or not because on this demo I am trying only to do all the things with processor expert I will deselect the Kinetic SDK and select the processor expert with a check mark. Another thing to note is that on the project mode you must list it to have a standalone project. A standalone project means that you don't want to mix your current project files to another project so we want to make it separate from the other project. After finishing defining your project Kinetics Design Studio will generate all the files corresponding to your application. Once generated, note that all the inner peripherals are listed on the flange. Select the GPIO flange. When you see Kinetics schematic documentation, you will note that the red LED is connected to the PTB22, the blue LED is connected to the PTB21, and the green LED is connected to the core PT26. List the PTB21 as the blue LED and the PTB22 as the red LED. Finish setting the green LED as PTE26 on port E. On the component library, select the vid.io. Right click on the imported component or press F2 to modify the name. Rename it as green and press OK. On the component properties window, finish setting the green LED to the port and the direction, in this case, is output. On the methods window, just only generate code for the put valve function. Repeat the same procedure to the red and blue LED. When you finish setting the pins, open the project and put over Processor Expert. Right click on Processor Expert and then select Generate Processor Expert Code. Click on the main to view the main function and add code. Add the type definitions outside the main function and inside the main this code. 
before debug, we need to build the application. So click on the hammer and wait a few seconds for Kinetic Design Studio to make your project. To debug our application, click on the bug icon and on the bug configurations, select the PE Micro Interface Debugging and click on the debugger link. Use the interface Open SDA Embed Debug from USB and check where is connected the Open SDA. Click on debug and wait to open the perspective view. The perspective view will make a breakpoint on the first function on the main. On the debug mode, you can insert breakpoints, do step by step execution of functions, and explore or watch some variables to look if your code is executing OK or something is wrong. Click on Run and check your board. You must see the RGB LED blinking from one color to another. Now stop the execution of the debug mode and prepare to flash the device. Change from the debug perspective to the C++ C++ perspective and do the next steps. Prepare to flash your device, selecting the wrong configuration and next flash from file. Once again, select the P and E micro interface debugger. Click on debugger. Use the same configuration as listed on this window and click on flash the device. You will note that your application will be downloaded to your microcontroller. But first, the application puts a breakpoint on the main function, so you must reset your device to check that the current application downloaded is working. This will finish Processor Expert and Kinetic Design Studio startup with your Freedom K64 board. Hope you like and visit my site. Thanks.